changes. I'll make a motion to approve the lease agenda for March 21st, 2023. Second. Okay, got a motion second. All in favor? Aye. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for March 14th. Yeah, second that. Okay, got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we'll jump over claims and go down to meetings attended. Well, I wasn't necessarily meeting, but I did attend the um, soup supper at the Historic Society last week. Um, they did a presentation on the Fairview Church. Okay. And that was very interesting. Um, they did before lots of before and after pictures, and um, they're doing a great job out there. That I haven't driven by to look at it yet, but uh, tell the difference. It's impressive yeah. to see that volunteer group work so hard. You know, Kathy's been in here a couple of times talking about it and getting our approval for grants and whatnot. And um, is that the one? Is that Grandview? Uh, you, uh, no, uh, here by Newport. Okay. Well, no, the where your mill was at because I got a uh, it was at the historical. Oh, because she said Oakville was that meeting coming up, and then that was changed to Grandview. Did you just get an email from her? Okay, I just got an email last week and she said, no, it was Oakville and then, no, it's I didn't get that one. I don't got that one either. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, uh, um, no, that's, uh, they're, they're doing a great job and um, they, I, from what I understand, they're about that close to getting them on a historic registry. So, um, I'd like to pat them on the back because that's, that's a lot of work. So. Well, there's a crew right now putting in a new, Back door and some siding, right? And yeah, they were working on the front C pillar by yeah. the front door, too, that was all rotted off. And yeah. they had it removed and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> it was a reminder historic preservation tonight at six o'clock at Oakville Fire Station. And then down here below, some correctors said, Oh my God, it's in Grand. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got that. Huh. So I, have to I don't know if that was the same thing. No. Now. I knew about that. I had something else going on. Yeah, there go. That was pretty cool. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you got, Brad? Um, I had uh, uh, last night we had a uh, uh, meeting with the uh, Wapo Development, met with the whole group. Um, I think we're getting closer. We're going to rent that out there. Um, Hank property, get that out there we had a conservation meeting yesterday afternoon um uh, it was good i like the when we looked at the playground equipment and uh, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities over there to get that done and uh, we got some things that we're going to do and uh, pour a little concrete where there was a little bit of problem when they laid it out first but uh, no problems get it done um uh, gonna we got a grant for twenty thousand dollars uh, to put a water fountain from Delta Dental, put a water fountain and work on a um, uh, towards a, getting the shelter in something probably 24 by 30 around that area. Something to hold four or five picnic tables covered. Um, Got to get some power out there. Well, now, how long has it been since anybody used the well? 2010 is what they say in Randy. Yes. Ten, yeah, yeah. and it's a new case well. I mean, it looks it's a black all the way plastic. It's uh, got a steel top on it. You know, I've got the right. plastic going right. down. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it should be. In. So it's been drilled in the last twenty-five years. I would say because it's newer than what my dad's and his was did, uh, drilled in eighty-three or eighty-four. Yeah. Uh, we leaving room for a campground someday, maybe. Um, looking at it. Uh, like I said, we want to just try to get things done in phases. Our problem has been we just don't finish anything. We're trying to get one project finished before we go to the next one. So I don't want to look at far ahead until we get one project done. How deep is that well? I don't know. I can find out from Brian T, but I would imagine that area probably two something. Because yeah. uh, of the gas wells. You know? Yeah, because of the gas wells. But I don't know for sure, but it would be on record. Good, hmm. good question. We're going to find out all that and then test the water once we get power out there. But the power is right in the front drive. There's a transformer sitting out there, so we got to get a pull set. I think they want to put a um, security light with a switch. Um, but um, 
uh, use this chance to maybe put like a little um, pressure tank room and you know heat it and stuff like that. Have it out there. Yeah. Uh, keep our summer stuff locked up. You can put the pressure tank right in the casing and for, and not have to worry about a pit and freezing and freezing and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, we're working toward that. And, it makes uh, it harder to replace in the future, but the pressure tank. And then, yeah, you have to call yeah, the well right, person yeah, 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 so instead of having it in a little shed or something. But you're right. In this area of freezing, if somebody, it makes it 20 below proof. Yeah, and somebody doesn't winter proof it right here and kind of replacing pumps and stuff. Uh, I think that's um, about it. Four week of meetings this week. I can't think of anything else. I'm going to add something last week. Can't remember what it was. Okay. Um, the tuck pointers you know, have been up working and uh, they had some pictures of uh, the windows that I got showed this morning. Um, they There's a couple windows leaking when we get a south rain. Yep. And the weep holes are, are caulked. Okay. Window. They was going to look at it. He was going to bring a ladder and talk to him. Yeah. How's come I didn't get that picture? Uh, it was just showed to me a few minutes ago, and I, I can. Yeah, because I talked to Geo, and they was going to fix that, but they had to get a ladder to do it because all of his lifts are gone. But there's a couple them pictures of you. Okay, I'll send them to yeah, you. I can send it to Geo. And then, um, old Taylor Collins sent me a pit. Uh, you've been talking about the sales tax. The state wants the sales tax. Yeah. But it's actually he's gonna tell you too. Yeah. Okay, he got it to you. All right. Yeah. But the problem is, is they need to niche it. Even though there's one guy that keeps bringing it up, like he said, niche well, it. Well, until he don't get elected, they're going to. Yeah. Uh, that's just the way it works. Yeah, you can't there. stop uh, somebody mm -hmm. from pitching a. But it's got more power than just one person. If you read about it, it's quite a few. I don't know how that would ever pass. I don't know how it would either. Well, but it would kill us. But no, he uh, sent that apparently to all three of us. I mean, technically, that that sales tax already goes to the state and it gets redistributed back. Right. But it's whether or not they keep it or not. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, it sounds like it would be funneled out to more than just the ones that had the election. Everybody. So smaller. Maybe a smaller cut. It would be decided by the state yeah. how it's allocated yeah. instead of, I mean, from what I've read, but good. I haven't really. Oh, it's good to see him. He must listen to our YouTube or meetings or something. I think yeah. he read Jim's article when he said he read the article. Well, I was surprised talking to a friend. He watches our meetings on YouTube tonight. And he he listens. He watches. Are we on YouTube? When I get them downloaded, they are. But he, he watches two or three. Candidates. Like last week, he's up there. Yeah, was I was out the end of the week. Well, but... wave and say hi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, the other yeah. thing I had, we met with the. I couldn't think of what it was. We met with uh, uh, with Mega uh, Waste uh, for the transfer station. We met with him. A couple times last week and just talking about things coming up possibilities but um we've been talking probably three or four times a day some days but yeah things are going we're gonna go a little different but uh we'll get it figured out and let you know what direction we're gonna go okay and the next thing i had a short meeting brenna bird the, the state auditor was at tri oaks friday afternoon i got to meet her and just meet and greet and visit a little bit. So no, not auditor, attorney. Attorney general, sorry, yes. Yeah, attorney general. So that's the things I've been doing this week. I've got payroll changes. Yeah, I got that. They're coming back broad. Just one plus two there. And about an hour. I'll make a motion to, oh, we don't have to do anything. It's Let's just look at the claims until we can um, open up our public hearing here in 20 minutes. So, totally less public claim.
Sounds like Sandy's got yeah. roof or something. Keep it on that end of the office, will you? I'd love to share it. Oh, no. Give it to somebody. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, you can eat it. My wife got it, and I stayed in the motel for a week and a half, so it's not bad I don't want it. <laughs> I just been going to a conference. What law enforcement hyphen G2 for four thousand bucks? The what is it? What did what did law enforcement hyphen G2 for four thousand bucks? That's usually like G2s usually like guns and ammo. It's ammo. Yeah. Did you get a meeting set up? Because uh, I tried to do it on Wednesday night, and that was Columbus Junctions. And then I tried Thursday night, and several couldn't do it. So we're trying to get everybody to, you he, know, it's like herding cats. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you know, know me or uh, Wednesday, and said, yeah. I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, it's like herding cats. I don't know if it'll be this week. It may actually roll to next week. Some people are supposed to get back with me and on what then when they can meet and I haven't heard. So I need to poke the fire again. Between poll workers and print and balance and your budget went to heck this morning. We get reimbursed for that though. The city schools. The school won't pay us for that. City Oh, they, uh, Sam Gill called me today and he said the carriage is going to be around 254, around 255. I wanted to make sure they was doing their budget. I wanted to make sure we was on board for that part of it. I think okay. the whole thing's going to be over 300, but that's the supplies. And, and I, <laughs> I don't know if it's got a different type of gurney. Do you know on that channel? Uh, I thought they were going to reuse the old one because it's electric lift. Yep, that's why. And then they're going to try to get the old ambulance on sale. Of course, I there's not a huge market for war out ambulances, but um, that's what I thought at at the time that they talked that that's what they were going to do. Unless that's changed, they had talked for a while about keeping it for a third out ambulance, like a backup when the other ones are in. For maintenance or whatnot, but I haven't been privy to that information in it's the last month, month or so. Yeah. But I just wanted to bring it up. You thought it was going to be 255. And I talked to Mike last night and I just wanted to make sure that we was that's what we was thinking also. So yeah. Are we? I am. I am too. So okay. Well oh. we committed to last July, really. Well, I just want to make sure that. I talked but, to you but, guys, it, but it was 280, and now it's turned to turn into a little over 300. Looks like ours is only 255. Okay, yep. Well, yeah, we was originally 280, but he said 255 is a carriage. No, no, think the rest of it for supplies and stuff. Yeah.
That's fine. Oh, I usually put on silent, but for some reason I didn't do that. It's a good thing my phone don't beep every time I get an email for the county. Oh, holy crap! Already right, got six this morning, haven't you? <laughs> it's got to be thirty a day. All right. And the problem is you don't know which ones are important and which ones aren't. So you got to go look at all. No, there's about six companies. That are I think that their day is just to sit there and dream up an email that they can send out. Yeah. A lot going on. Now, some people think there is. <laughs> and they just like to create. Them. Yeah, I think that's most, some of it. That you called yesterday about and after the treasure stuff about uh, they bought a vehicle and they have to have a certified notarized copy of the bill so no I never heard that before uh, no not unless there's something wrong with the back of the title yeah because usually I just carry a bill of sale and mm -hmm. If both people sign it, we're good to go. That they had to go home and get it notarized and get the other signature on mm -hmm. it from where they bought it at. So I want to talk to her about that. Yeah. Never know. Something new. I hadn't heard that. I was just in there last week. It's be a new rule. Mm -hmm. I thought if you signed the bottom of it, it was inaccurate, you could face. Well, I do know if you. If is the back of that title if it's you can't scratch anything out you oh, can't no. change a date you can't nothing. do nothing yeah if you make a mistake and put the wrong date on it for some reason or the wrong year oh boy it's game on yeah i did that i went through a stint there for a week and was writing like Five years ago, the day I, why I don't know, 2021, and, and or, yes, I oh no. Then you got to go get another title from the person you got it from. Yeah, right. Do like that fire truck I bought years ago from the fire department yeah. that you fixed up. Yeah, yeah. That title took. <laughs> I bought it like November, and it. I didn't get a title till March. Because you had part of that truck had come from Wisconsin and part of it had come from Oklahoma. Or, yeah. And wow. <laughs> it took forever. And that, but that was when the state people were all working from home and that, right that, during that COVID. Probably and they still working from home. It. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> They're never going to leave that. Nope. Everybody else in the they room working their pajamas. Yeah. yeah. Probably getting hazard pay. Mm -hmm. yeah. They need more money too. They're overworked. I mean, need your sales tax. <laughs> like someone says, you can tell them they're getting a lot done when you can hear the kids fighting in the background. When yeah, the dog's <laughs> barking. And... Yeah. Is everybody comfortable with the claims? No. I don't know. There's not much here. It still added up to $250,000. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the claims of 262. Is it? Yep. 262, 150, and 25 cents. Yep. I'll second that. 
Okay, you got a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, I think it's coming down here. What's that? Yeah, set a public hearing for the zone rezoning from A1 to B1. So uh, it would have to have the, I believe, three readings, but the first reading could be on the 11th of April. By the time I get it to the paper, it'll be published on the 30th, and then the 10 days would be, you know, the 11th would be your next meeting. Okay, do it. I'll have I'll make, a make a motion for that. I'll make a motion. I'll second it for the April 11th. Okay, you got a motion and second for April 11th public hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Look, we got something juicy coming up for the Green Acre subdivision, huh? Mr. Schweitzer's coming in. Well, that's just a subdivision. The boy, yeah. our lawyer always comes in with all. Oh, with the new subdivision. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was on after. And Brian, Brian T. Sometimes the owner will even be here. He's got two. Where, where are these at? Uh, where when they get here? I guess. Mm. Green Acres is the place to be. Okay, well, I said it to him, but I want to make sure that you do that. Okay, thanks, bud. Bye bye. Yeah, we can do some here. Huh? Fish. Or any time after nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. About the subdivisions, here's something. It's uh, the correspondence between the engineer and the, the Rob is the surveyor, and then Brian T is the zoning administrator.
Thanks, sir. Yeah. Oh, my, it's close to the river, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. The green anchor, so we'll get brought up to bait. They usually bring the 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 maps and have it brought out very well. Okay. And our job is to make sure it's got a good lane or access to it. It's about the only real questions that we can single house, single. But usually, if it's went through the engineer's checklist, then we're all been... Check mark and taken care of. Yeah. Between the engineer and the zoning administrator, everything should be done. And we shouldn't have to yeah. question too many things. Uh, I did have one request, and you guys probably got it too from the super uh, superintendent about people out at the um, trailer park at Woodland. And they've had a drop of five or 10 kids in the last six weeks from there. And he, it raised a red flag and he wanted to know kind of what was going on. And I told him, I said that we'd had a problem with trash and that we kind of leaned on him a little bit about cleaning the place up. But other than that, I hadn't heard much. And he questioned the water. And I told him, I said, I think that's resolved. I haven't heard anything. But he said, when they lose 10 kids in six weeks, something's wrong. Now, he understands it's a little bit of a transient family thing out there. But um, it bothered him a bit that they'd lost 10 kids. More, more people got evicted like the guy that was in here. And I, that guy... Did he know that he was even here? Yeah. <laughs> he was living in a trailer that yeah, but he'd been writing that he said he cases my check every week since December. One side though. Yeah. Yeah, you're hearing that side, you're not hearing the other side. I'm sure there's more to that story. But but that guy said he, the first part of December, he had no water. The last part of December, he had no LP. The LP was his problem. Yeah, right. The trailer <laughs> part was a really mess. I didn't know if you guys did. I didn't hear anything. Or anything, or anything or... The water is... I told him I would ask. ...working, but it's still discolored. But the DNR does not have a guideline on the color of water as long as it meets the water or animal stuff. The chlorophyll and the well, he was, he was um, a little worried enough to ask the question. Good question. Mm -hmm. I had no answer for him. I didn't realize we'd lost that many kids. It's, that's a lot for school. Yeah. And in six weeks. What's that? Uh, around 8,000 a student? I don't know what they're I think it's what they're getting now. 750 or something. Isn't it? Well, yeah, a little over that. I think it's a funny little over two yeah. dollars over per that. student. And it, I know on his list, yeah, like seventy-five thousand. On Adam's list is to. It's not that quick, huh? It's not that quick. They they, they go. Yeah, yeah but saying, for next year, if they left yes. permanently, right? Yes. It's yes. got to be by November or something like there's that. There's two. There's two yeah. counts, yeah. I believe, yeah. a year. Yeah. But that's scary. Yeah, yeah. certified counts, especially from one place. Well, town of Cedar Rapids or our city 10 might not be much, but it's a lot. A lot, a lot. I know Adam will put on his list for four or five years from now to repave 100th Street. There's a lot of foot traffic from Woodland in oh, the town. Yeah. I don't wonder if we would consider lane. or a bike lane or a walk lane of some kind. I come to work uh, last Friday and this kid walking right down the middle of this, the road. And he got over, but in the evenings, I see a lot of people going to the grocery store, not the grocery store, but Dollar General and carrying bags back. And I don't know, just a thought that maybe yeah. we might consider, yeah, an extra wide 
yeah. shoulder on one side or something that they can well, well and then that, and the hard part about that is that's not uh, that's local pavement too that's not uh farm market either so yeah we had to borrow more right away that Oh, if that car shop got a corner. Oh, that that compound only. Oh, I bet. I I value there. So. I need to open the that we open is the county budget. Is that the county second? Second. Got a motion second. Public hearing is now open. Stand back here. Come and storm it down. So, what did you say? Is is your shop and Brandon's all that? Is 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 that in town or is that county? We're in town. town. Okay, so we, we could potentially do some sort of cost. We're town right to Hunter Sherry. Okay. Or uh, 142nd. Yeah. yeah. So it, maybe we could do a, because I think the North half of Saunders and South half was in, in town. So, yeah. And it didn't have to go all the highway. It just needs to go down to yeah industrial, that industrial mm -hmm. road, and then they could sneak around Surf Pro, you know? Yeah. It's just a, a thought. Hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't talk, so I mean, if any place needs a walk lane or a bike lane, it'd probably be that road. Well, okay. we're ready for your uh, updates. Updates. So we were supposed to have those uh, bridge beams put put on yesterday. Well, it rained over the weekend, and they pulled them out on, or so it got pushed back two weeks. Again, not a big. Deal in the big picture, we're still looking at late spring, but we are in the spring now, so <laughs> so yeah. that's officially how, how bad is it going to hurt the local farmers? If it's got a field probably on the other side of the um, there's there's cattle farmers there who have to get around and they've complained and all that, but okay, but I mean, they're working on it, it just takes, takes time, and well, it's. Weather related, this is the time of year you only get yeah. two or three work days a week instead of a whole week. Work. Yeah, and you know a lot of it is getting the beams produced in a factory, and there's more construction work going on right now than there ever have been, and that's just, that's the same every year. So it's a little supply chain it takes so much time. Supply chain, supply chain issues. Which yeah. anyway, so they're 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 working on it. Was there a second on your motion? On what side? Yeah, I second yeah, it. He seconded it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, so anyway, they're progressing on it, progressing on it. So that um, in the in the shop, we we've been re really hauling as much rock as we can. Um, getting ahead of that March thirty first price increase. You guys remember, it's going to go up a dollar fifty eight a ton or something like that. So. I've been impressing on the guys. We want to get as much hold as, as we can. You know, if we if we can all ten thousand tons in March versus April, it's going to cost us fifteen thousand dollars less if we do it in March and April. So we're it's good. getting out that. We got some guys who want to do something else, but we're this is this is what we're doing. <laughs> until like, are you getting gravels in two different spots or? Um, we was at Eden Park yesterday and seen trucks go by several. They must be graveling out in that area. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they're, they're probably graveling out there in Union. Union I'm probably to see 10, 12, probably kind of trucks yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Easy. So, steady. yeah. so yeah, we're, we're, we're getting as much done as, 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 as we can until yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Um, your, actually, your, your graveling showed up in claims, it was about a third of play. Yeah. Uh, um, so at end of the um, at the end of the month, we'll kind of yeah. So basically, on, on on gravel, you know, we have, we have a we plan it plan to put down uh, seventy five thousand tons per year, and that's what one hundred and eighty tons per mile of gravel. So um, I, the way I, I bef before before I was here, it just whoever put down whatever there was no driver reason. Um, a couple of years ago, I said each district, we have seven districts, and each district gets a certain amount of rock because the miles traveled on the, the size of each district isn't the same. We got a 75, 75 gravel mile district, and we got 46 mile gravel district, and there's differences in between. So I divided it up 
maybe this 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 area gets as much and this much area gets as much. And I, I don't tell them where to put it. I said, this is your budget. You guys know your roads, so but you have to put down this this much. So so everybody's pushing up and we and we kind of check every week to see you know how close to their budget everybody gets. And if one is up to 90% of their budget, the other one's only at 55% of the budget, we take our trucks so and we put them on the 55 and filling up each bucket, I, I guess, and and the end. And then, you know, after, after this month, each of them will be, you know, have another couple thousand tons to place down. But so that's kind of how, how we handle that. Um, so they're doing that. And after the end of the month, we'll, we'll get back. Uh, we, we've got our excavators out on some tr tree work that we had started. Um, we kind of need to finish that up and we're gonna take a couple weeks to, now, uh, like like a weeks or so to get those done, and then the excavators are coming back up back to the shop for servicing and all that. Get get them ready for our our spring work. So when that's happening, our crews will be out sweeping off bridges and patching holes and things like that. So we, so we kind of have a you know a day to day schedule, a weekly schedule, a monthly schedule, and kind of quarterly, I guess you know and. After we get done with our, our sweeping and bridge work, then we'll go and we've got a couple of big culverts that we have we have to do. So we're kind of building out a, a schedule on, mm -hmm. on that. So then hopefully we're done with snow. You know, we had some more last week. Should, shouldn't be much sweeping on the bridges because we didn't use much sand or salt. We, we 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 have lately though. I mean, you know what I'm saying. We well, we, we didn't do much in, in January, but March we've you know, get that. Well, all year our salts moved more snow than our blades have. Yeah, yeah. So we you know we do 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 that, and we'll, and we've got a, a big tank that goes in the back. I think of uh, Casey's truck when they got his truck, and they got a crew. They go out and sweep it, and we hose it off and. Shovel it off to get all that salt and crap off wherever it goes, right? right. So um, that's that. Um, so, any questions about the maintenance and, and the thing? Very Highway 92 went down that direction uh, late last so, week, and boy, they got that all tore up. So, um, I talked to the uh, our guy from the DOT, and they kind of had to do an emergency letting. There's a uh, dates that you can cut down trees mm -hmm. um, to avoid the in Indiana bat, right? So any tree more than nine inch or nine inches or larger in diameter that has loose bark could be home for the Indiana bat. If you cut down trees after April first, you have to go and check every tree, right? You have to do all this environmental stuff. If you cut them down before April first, scientists say that the Indiana bat isn't back from where where it comes from. So if, if those trees are on the ground, you know what I'm saying, the, the, and, and, and environmental regulation. So talk to, to the DOT about that. So the 92 project was supposed to be let in December, got pushed back, pushed back. Now there's more environmental regulations pulling them up. So last time I talked to them, they're talking about letting something out this summer potentially allowing for some work to start in the fall but more likely the work would start in you know right around this time next next year but in order to allow work to potentially start this fall they have to get all the all, all the trees cleared basically basically so well they did a good job at that i drove by the other day and you see Holy trees smoke. falling down all over the place plus the railroad is doing some of their own clearing out there mm -hmm. um between 61 and Whiskey Hollow, I, I think they're gonna. There's uh, a sidetrack extension. Yes. I'm glad that you, you, you said that. It's done by LM school. And then, yeah, yep, so yeah, it's supposed to extend. I think it's 100 yeah. years already. And that's part of the CPKCS merger. Was bad. Uh, you go down Highway 92, they clear cut. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We was over there yesterday. Wow. Did we? Did they take some of our county ground too, where you turn off or right there by Willie's, where you go down to Blacktop? We had that whole corner there. That's over there now. DOT stuff. I, I don't know if 
I, I, I'd have to look if we still own that or if it, it was. I think the DOT may, maintains them. Three years ago, somebody tried yeah, to the, buy that. Yeah, old, the old guy that helped do the little to um, Oh, oh yeah. 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 He was in here. He, he was part. Part. Yeah. Because Randy could remember when it was a Colbert storage there for, yeah. for, for the county. So they're. they're their flags are on. Yeah, I, I think they bought right away off of people. Um, you know, last okay. to go did they, they buy any off us? That's what I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing. I haven't done any Ever anything either. I mean, maybe I'll be walking to work someday and I'll have to say, "Hey, we've acquired this." So, thanks for letting. Because there's flags curl where we mm -hmm. owned. I thought so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're out there always. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen uh, two people, two different groups, BCI, it looked like they was out there measuring, so they was probably doing some bidding. And Well, that was an emergency thing. I mean, that's yeah. it's good. Well, I saw a couple <laughs> groups out there. <laughs> so um, here's your for personal story. So uh, back when I worked at Muscatine, um, I, I got a job to design some expansion work up at the Lutheran Homes. And, you know, we told them about, you know, we had the project, the construction project done, let and then it got to be like April, and or no, it was, it was like March, and they hadn't cleared any trees, and they had to clear like a couple acres of trees. I'm like, guys, you have to get these down. So remember, we did emergency letting. And I'm out there on like a Saturday and a Sunday watching these guys just cutting down, just cutting down, <laughs> laying them everywhere. I mean, it was just complete. It was raining. It was just terrible. Where it looks like a tornado went through there. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was just watching the work. I wasn't actually doing it, but it was. It, it, it was a little sketchy, but they had, they had, they had to get the trees down by the end of April and, or beginning of April and all that. So. Well, we can't, on the farm, I can't go cut a fence row after the April 1st. Really? Yeah. Because of this Indiana bat that down at the Oakville Bridge, we tried to net it for two years and never did find one in Wayne County. Yeah. This uh, the state came through and remember the by the car wash on the five mile lane mm -hmm. that approach. Yeah, they I, was filling all the asphalt, but they seemed to miss that right away of the states. Okay. Can we redirect them or go put them out there? We yeah. had another complaint, but and it is getting bad where you pull off now that turning lane to get on five mile lane, you almost can't see the headlights for a while in the semi. I, my aunt told me about it the other day. Yeah, just, but they just came through and patched. I know, and they okay. missed two spots for me. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Mike and, and Delzo and, and 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 the DOT to see if there's anything anything that can be done on that. Can't we got to do something because it's it's yeah, it's, it's bad. bad. It's bad. It's bad for our equipment in the process. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so where 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 I'm at in office work, um, I'm planning to bring the five year plan to you guys either next week or the following week, right? And the five year plan is something we have to give to the DOT by April fifteenth, and it includes both our state and federal funded work and then our local county county work. So, um, want to talk to you guys about the Grandview area. Um, I have a, a, a list of, of clots and a map as to what kind of what I'm thinking or how you guys want to go about funding and timing and all this kind of thing. So, I figured a, a, a map and a thing. So, it, looking at the map here, right? I've kind of highlighted in different colors, different, different phases of the map. So I, I guess if you look up there, the 160th gravel, right, that dark blue, that pro that work has already been lit and is going to start like May, and that's so three hundred fifty thousand dollars to take that gravel to regrade it, widen it. We probably bought the bought the river right away. Um, they're going to mix uh, cement powder into the base and rototill it in there and compact it and then put crap on it. Okay. So that's that's what's um, funding out of our 2024 local uh, budget. Um, heading heading south and south there that lighter blue that's that, that's old 61, and that would be asphalt over, over milled and overlaid. Um, and that would be let out in fiscal year 24, maybe, maybe not done till, till 25, depending on the year, but, but that's farm to market, no money. 
the pink there on the west side of Grandview, we would over, over, overlay that and widen that out a little bit to allow for walking lanes to get you know to get in from town out to the convenience store. The red in town would just be a straight over. Well, now we, we have mill and, and then over overlay it, so that's kind of a minor project. And then the green is city right away now that we've agreed to help them out something. So and and then up at the north end is where that G forty four X one hundred sixty area is. So at at the end of the day, that intersection would be concrete. The dark blue heading west would be new asphalt over top of gravel or seal coat, depending on what we do there. And then everything else would be asphalt. Yeah. What speed limit would be on that road once that surface is on that? On the on the, the uh, uh, blue? Yeah, the 160th. It, it 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 would be 55, but at the curves it get down, it get down to 40. Okay, so it yeah. would pick up from that. Yeah. Okay. So you would come, you know, if you're heading north, you would, you know, speed up and slow down. And then on that intersection, um, at least coming south and turning right would be like 25 or so. I, I, I drove it yes, yesterday on gravel. I hit like 28 on it. I was a little bit, you know, but once it paved and it's all banked, it's yeah. all, you can hit, hit it faster that at least southbound traffic wouldn't have to stop. So you have a question whether or not you're going to pave it or seal coat it. So um, the question is that you know we 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 talked about maybe doing the concrete portion of the of, of that intersection using local funds or uh, lost or whatever ARPA. I, I I don't know what 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 the funding is, but that that could that could be done this summer. Well, the question is between this summer. Until next year, when it's paved with asphalt, if if we wanted to put on a a, a course, you know, as a, a, a seal coat course first. So um, how how big is that intersection? Go back to uh, how? So that intersection, if you guys, you know, I was going to bring a picture of it, but I didn't. Fifty feet, hundred feet. It, it'll be a hundred, 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 hundred or so feet because we're putting in kind of a sweeping. Yeah. So it seems like the intersections, those big trucks tear them up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think we plan for enough of the of, of an intersection there. Is that concrete or pavement? Con so I, 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 I want that intersection to be concrete because of all the truck triangles. Once you get past it, though, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm okay with it being asphalt because it's going to be on to on top of the cement tree base. It's going to be hard as heck, and we're not going to have the heat and hot. You don't like that? Um, what we did on K Avenue? Well, the, that that to me could be the holding pattern for a year or two if we had to. Um, that be oh, honest with you. I'm pretty impressed with that. Mm -hmm. There's what the intersection. It's not as true. Ninety is what. Yeah, it's going to make a big radius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, looking at, at cause, right? So the yellow stuff is local local money costs, and again, that's through property taxes, use tax, if lost or or whatever was available. That's what local money is. Green is farm to market funds that come there every year. So the first line there is grading, base, and gravel. We've already got that lead. It's $342,000, I have an estimate is three fifty. dollars So that, that's going to happen. Um, if we wanted to speed up the, the concrete portion of that project, I, I, I have plans about ready to go. So the, basically my decision here is whether to do the intersection this summer fall using local money or waiting until next year and lumping it in with all the with all the asphalt work. And then that would be farm market money. So I yeah so 
So if, if, if we wanted to get that intersection done this year, we could, or, or wait until next year. I, I guess, I, I don't know, what, what are you guys thinking? I think it'd be good to do it in two parts, get some of it done this yeah, year. Yeah, right. I mean, what difference? You're gonna spend the farm to market money next year anyway. Yeah, spread it out. What difference does that make? Okay. If you can do it this year. Well, and, and the, the, the thing is in our local budget that we, I think it's going to get approved to today. I, I don't have the money to pave it in, in there. So we so said, but we maybe look at doing a project. Special project. Yeah, special project. Special project. So we just so, need a cost of that. So, so it, if, if we wanted to get that inter intersection done this year, the concrete portion would be 125. And then if we put down a black coda on it, like we've done in other places, that'd be another 70. So about two. 200,000 to get that whole thing paved. And then in the future, we come and put on a, a, a final surface. And give us a couple of years or a year or two to then put the final asphalt covering on it. Yeah, if if, if that's what you, you, you guys think. And it would also allow me to save up my farmer market a little bit too, if, if that's worse for you guys. I'm not opposed to that necessarily. I'd like to have it. Uh, it's come kind of on. We talked about that sometimes with signage, the state. Oh, the yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. That shows people yeah. where this money is going and how effective it can be. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. And I, if I didn't know what that base had already done and you were coming to me with that, not knowing what K Avenue was going to do or how it's going to hold, I would be like, I don't know if I'm going to spend that money. But since I know how that reacted and how it's working, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's just about as good as summer. I seventy grand seems kind of cheap. Yeah. Well, it's it's only eight 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 out of eight tenths of a mile. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Plus, sure. below it is going to be you know so out on. So basically, K Avenue south of our, our shop down there has has not performed as well as 142nd. Well, the 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 thing about 142nd is it's it's only like 20 21 feet wide, and it's been dust controlled for years and beaten place, right? So the base on that is very very good. The, the base on K Avenue, we we did it and we added in this mixture and it held up well. I think. Knowing what I know now, I would have added twice as much rock underneath it, and 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 that's my and you know me and Larry work working together and all that. But after that, well, it was a learning. It was a first yeah. time project in, in in the area. Yeah, in five years. The 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 Probably base close. the base under under what we're doing on the 60th is far and away better than anything. I mean, it's going to be a foot of mixed in cement. And we got to look to what we're taking off the other roads coming into town. It will it's save us money. Yeah. So much and money. That, like <laughs> that, yeah. So much more. Yeah, because there's so, a lot of traffic on that road. So um, I'll I'll put together the fiber. Excuse me. So. Um. That. Um. That, that that basically this would push back that Grandview Main Street over overlay a little bit too, and and maybe we'll have another shot at that grant too. Mm -hmm. that, that. And this might help us on that grant, uh, wouldn't it? Possibly. Well, it it, it, it would yeah, it it it, it 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 would take out more it would take out more new paving, right? And yeah. it, it would look like a rehab project, right. which I think is more, it's probably the reason that we, we didn't, didn't get it because we were doing new paving. Well, this is, well, when we come back to do it in a couple of years, it, it, it'd be a rehab Perfect. project. Well, look at this, you know, this poor county, poor town, they're rehabbing these roads is, is, is what it would look like. So, plus um, I could push it back and kind of have like one, Great big asphalt project because remember we had the ninety nine and Oakville thing that mm -hmm. I could do rather than a million dollar project I could do a two million dollar project you know what I'm saying yeah pushing all into one bundle yep. I think yeah. that's a good idea so and it gets that part usable yeah. and a little quicker and people feel good about it and uh, okay. about like what that project is. so it's too late to add the two hundred thousand on to the 20 like what year are we 
budget. We're working on our 1224 project, so we will need to amend the budget at, at some time. Mm -hmm. And you guys will supplement with whatever funding you guys think. We can do the signage and, and all that. And hopefully by the end of the year, if things go well, we'll be, we will have that by, by, bypass page. Okay. Sorry, great plan to me. So great plan. Yep. So, Thank you for getting that back together. Yep, yep. So next week I'll I'll submit the actual five year plan for approval. Uh, Put that on it. Yep. So all right, guys. Well, thank you for yeah, thank that. You. If you have any questions about anything, please please hey, all right. Who is the contact person at their uh, the new state? Yeah. Who took um uh Scott Dexter's job is now in yeah. Nick, oh, what was he? Is he where's he out? Uh, he's up there now. Oh, okay, so he, he worked there before. He was. So Nick's Nick was at the Waffle Shop, and then I think after Waffle Shop, I think he might have been working at Burlington. But he, at least my understanding is everybody. Every time I've had a road issue, I've, I've talked to Nick about it. So I don't know if he's official or just doing the job. Yeah. Okay. So there's several colleagues. Yeah. Yeah, lots and lots of um, that needs to be done. Lots of mowing and trees that can be cut down. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's make. Want to close close the uh, public hearing? Yeah, Sean, you want to do that? Second. Or you want to make the motion? I'll make the motion to close the public. I'll second that. Okay. Go. Motion second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. And now we got need a motion to sign the resolution. I'll make a motion that we sign that resolution of the 2024 county budget. Approving. Just for what? Approving. Approving the resolution. Okay, you made the motion. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sure. Nice. Uh, what are you doing? Good. 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 Now, what are you doing? <laughs> Only going to be able to do one. I didn't get that Zimbabwe's uh, plaques back in time to do it. So it'll just be the J and A, I think. Howell. The Howell one, A Howell subdivision? Yeah. Okay. The no green acres. No. Oh, oh my God. God. Hi. How you doing? Great. Yeah, no treats for you guys today, the way you treated me last time. I kind of, I kind of expected that, Jay. <laughs> How are you guys? We used to want to know her. I figured you bring treats and kind of heal our hearts. <laughs> They'll come later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys been a nice, nice parking lot. It's a nice we spot. That about eight years ago. <laughs> it saves our building too. Water is not running backwards into the building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's. You need to come down more often. I do. <laughs> I haven't been here since the last time I was in the bed. Don't blame you. Uh, since Katie's not here, let's get started with you guys. Beans, you got yeah. just one subway. Well, just that's more. Or is someone coming for us in long where uh, the plant was on? I got it fixed. Yeah. They mailed it to me, but they didn't. I checked the mail this morning and it didn't get me out. What was wrong with it? Uh, they didn't have the right of right on it. Adam uh, shut on it um, for the road because I turned into a dirt road. Okay. So when he fixed it, now it's just. Oh, and, that, and, that, and that was a guy down at the Mount Heat. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's probably on this one, isn't it? Whitaker? Yeah. No, Whitaker's must be. Yeah, it's oh. must be. Well, I don't know. Lance? Whatever. But the no, Lance is the server. Right? Lance, yeah, Lance. That's Lance. Yeah. yeah. Here it is, is where it's going to be at. It's right outside of Fredonia. I just kind of knocked it off where it comes from. Is it just the separation of the property? Is that what it's doing? I think he's just, I, I, he's not going to come. I think he's separating that so he can get off of Vin. Oh, he must hand you two. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because they're a part of that farm. I think he wants to get rid of the VMs. Gotcha. So that's all that is, is just subdividing that chunk off. Yeah, because it's already been split once. That's the reason it falls into the subdivision category. Okay. Of course, with beds, it's got good access. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see them. Right. Yeah, just so you guys. I don't know. If you, Do you want the PLS company, but I don't know if you guys wanted them or not. Uh, I'll start talking. Uh, we can put them in this file in our yeah. file again. Everything looks good, right? Yep. No. And this is the how. Dustin how? Yes. I'll make a motion that we approve the subdivision for Dustin or Justin. Dustin. Dustin Howell. A how subdivision. Yeah, a how subdivision. Yep. That's um, fine. I'll second that with some discussion. Um, is there there's a, a, a acreage limit? Oh, I'm playing stupid on it's two, two acres, and that's I see it says two acres on here. It's okay. We just look, Katie. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have a motion on the second. Okay. There's two places in the slider for me, right? I'm calling the town home and location tonight. I'm leaving the fences. Yeah, that's the wrong stand. Andy back next to you. No. Two weeks. Seven. Two weeks. Seven. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Are they here for the Green Acres one? Yeah. Yes. Can we just review it real quick while they're here just to get or does I that mean, I can go out my truck or get it if you guys want? Yeah, just to kind of I got the one, the, the corrected survey, but it's not something. If they took the so time to gym here, I'd be happy just to at least review it, and make sure there's no other hitches well, in the get yet. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. And then we can yeah. just rubber stamp it. Once Maybe the, save the paperwork. Yeah, we'll take a and we didn't know about it until right now. This morning, yeah. so. Once the paperwork catches up, we can just rubber stamp it and move through. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. I think you got to stamp that drone too. This, yeah, that's right. When we all sign it. Yeah. It's been a while since we did a subdivision. And the question here is where we can stamp it to not upset the recorder. Yeah, yeah, you got to be there. with it. There you go. That's pretty. Have you ever done that before? I've set the recorder. Just every time we do a subdivision. <laughs> but she's not. She's usually grinning at us when she's chewing. Is she? Well, I've had a time or two she wasn't. Right? Well, that, that just got us. That's shooting your car every week. Okay. Yeah, there are plenty of copies there. Well, it's so the bottom one. Will Put in the filing cabinet over in the ones that you want in there. I've got another one if you want. That you can. This is it. And this is the correct file. Okay, this is out past Verdonia on the turn. No, no, it's over by morning sun. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Hollywood. Oh, last. <laughs> what do you call Hollywood? Hollywood. So the McDonald's used to have a horse farm. Down in the valley by where Daryl Walker lives, and it had white fences and was pretty nice farmstead. They called it Hollywood. Like, yeah. That was its nickname was Hollywood. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't... So you're living maybe here. 
Will that help explain to Jay why that didn't get sent out today? I think it might. That's what I said to Okay. Brian, we're looking at here and here. Is that what we're looking at? Um, yeah, this square. This square right here. Okay. So I said it going to home right here. It's kind of uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you see it comes up in gravel, and then it turns to dirt. Well, if they didn't have all that right away, then and if you look at it where it says all these numbers, yeah. They weren't on the original that I got. They thought it was a 66 foot right away and ended up being along the 40s. Yeah, because, because of the dirt road. road. It was a smaller right away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The theory is smaller. Because of the dirt road. Yeah. I, I don't understand. What's smaller? Well, let me see. This. The, the dirt road right away is 40. Yeah, the so gravel like, roads are 60. So yeah. Yeah. And it's dry as soon as you get past right. the driveway. Oh, that's it's kind of, it's that's kind of there. That's kind of there. That's right here. Yeah, 66. That's where you're at. Yeah, it's 40. Yeah. 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 That's how it works. But it wasn't marked on this one. It had which is old over here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to show this one, but I need that size. Okay, I understand. I understand. He needs the original one that didn't come in the mail today. Or he's the original one. Yeah, this is an old one. Well, yeah, well, yeah that, that's the old one. He stands certified. Yeah. Just put it on. Yeah. It's still showing 66 foot. Right? Yeah. Okay. But not where the dirt road is. Yeah. Oh, this is 66 right here above the table. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. And then it turns to 40. Right. Because it doesn't say 40 on there. Because it doesn't say it on that's there. That's a hang up. Yeah. Well, could we can we get approval subject to the uh, no. the enactment? No. Or, no. We've done that before. It it's screws it all up. So it needs to all come in together. When did you take the recorder's place? That's from the recorder. Oh. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> all right. So that's what we're there to do. It's all this flight. writing is what yeah. all yeah. this yeah. writing was yeah. on. Yeah. I got it. 40, 40. I understand. That's just what that one it is. What when you have that signature on that? Yeah. He sent it last week and I checked the mail this morning. The mail had already arrived. Yeah, well, and I checked it this morning and it wasn't there. Right, come yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think they delivered flight. <laughs> no. So it's just the the survey hasn't updated his survey. Right. Well, That's all it is. And then they're gonna send me that big copy. Well, since we already had a discussion, you guys don't need to be here next week. Yeah, okay. On agenda. Well, this, I know, appreciate it. Everybody guys go okay with that. It won't be yeah, next week. Up. It won't be next week. No, I'm headed to Texas when I get off. Can you cancel that? Really? I wish I could. <laughs> Three times <laughs> now, trying to get out of here. Sorry, two weeks. <laughs> Just let me know what it's just going to be. I don't need to be here. Yeah, we're already at your schedule right now. Yeah. Have you got a second? He wants to talk. Appreciate if I could have just a few more minutes okay. of your time. Mm -hmm. On this on this drawing, and it, it does go the 66 foot right away, correct? Right up in the northeast corner of the lot. Yes. You guys all agree on that? Yes, I see it 66. Okay. Yeah. Now I, I contacted the county engineer when I first started building there to get some rock on that road. So from that corner post there where it says it's the end of the 66 foot to the east, to the all point. the way to Ryan and Bailey Cunningham's driveway. It's dirt, it's mud. And I've asked him for some rock. Well, he spread one load for me last year on that section of road from where my driveway is to the neighbor's driveway. And it's like throwing a handful of salt in the ocean. It's, it's, there's nothing. Oh, no. And the grader goes up as far as past my driveway now and grades, but he's not grading anything because there's no rock on the road. And I know why there's no rock on the road because it just used to be a farm field. Gotcha. So I mean, it's going to take some time yeah. to build a base. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't yeah. do you any good to put rock down because you just use tractors in and out yeah. of there. But but that's why I built up in that northeast corner now was because there was an existing driveway with a brand new culvert in it. And you know the way I look at it, and that's why I brought my driveway in there was because you know it's a wider right of way, and I would assume that the county maintains that sixty foot right of way, and that would include the gravel on the roads, correct? Supposed to be it's supposed to be right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I could, maybe just have one of you guys just kind of maybe either show it to Adam because this survey came right off of the county record for us. I think we need to maybe talk to Adam too, and maybe not put down road rock something a little larger, a little bigger. That, 
for a base, base yeah, to two get, inches, to three get inches, right to something go. right there, and but, then work our way up. To the yeah, I mean, I've always got to put it in four wheel drive to get from the neighbor's driveway up to mine, and I, I stepped it off. It's right around two hundred foot, so it's not a huge distance, but. I would appreciate if you guys could help me out with that. Yeah, that, would make, yeah, that would make a world of difference. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can get yeah. something a little larger. I mean, it might be a little rough for a while, a while. until that kind of sinks in. And then maybe yeah. following six months or a year, put some smaller. Right. And I, I, I don't expect you guys to do that whole dirt road in front of my house. That's that's not yeah, what I'm I doubt asking. they do that anyway. No, they won't. They yeah. won't. I already was told that. But yeah. I did put my own driveway in and that's. I did the three inch they, base. And they should maintain that 66 feet. That's part of a county road. So, right. so yeah, I mean, it's it's not that he he, he wasn't going to put any rock down. He put one load down for me. Is that uh, 90, 96 feet? Um, right. Yeah, from I mean, from that point of boundary right. to the west to the 40. That's what I'm asking. 96.4 feet. Something like that. Yeah. But I'd appreciate that if you guys could maybe touch base with him and yeah. Um, not that I, I can't communicate with him, but the last time things go so well. <laughs> so we'll post some more. He just left here too. So <laughs> yeah. Thank you. yeah. Can we go? Yeah, you guys stay till the end of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you treat and said that the uh, airfare was going over his house and Luke was all burning the hood and just got caught in. Really? Yeah, which I could see him doing. Yeah, oh yeah. But I I, I ain't heard no more. And I thought, well, maybe you might have heard something. No, I haven't heard nothing. But, uh, right. yeah, she's about used up his nine lives if any close calls. He's he's on there. number 18. Yeah. Man. Uh, <laughs> well, I hope not, but I don't tell. Yeah, I didn't hear no more, so... Hmm. If I do, I'll let you know. That yeah. sounds great, Brian. Have fun. Have a safe you. trip. Yeah. Okay, Katie, I'm sorry we encroached no, okay. on your time. It was... We're heading up to the chicken bluffs to burn this morning, so I was trying to coordinate a bunch of people and stuff this morning. So. Um, as far as uh, things go, um, we have all of our summer help. Uh, hired now, so that's good that we should have a full staff. A lot of them don't start until May or um, you know closer to to the summer. But we've got the last of them hired. We had one more maintenance mowing position, and we hired him uh, last week. I guess it was one day. Um, good news: we received a twenty thousand dollar grant from Delta Dental that will put a water bottle filling station out at Eden Park. So it'll be just like the one at the Swinging Bridge where it's got the dog water, the regular drinking fountain that kind of makes us all night, and then also the water bottle filler up above. So our board had a special meeting yesterday to try to determine where we wanted everything to go out there so that we could make plans and get electricity and all that stuff lined up. So we have basically a year to get that in the ground. So we'll be working on that pretty hard coming up here. Um, Eden Park Playground, uh, we're working through the details on that too. We're hoping to have the concrete guys come here in a couple weeks or so. I touched base with them yesterday. The, the sheets of that fabric are 15 feet okay. wide. So um, we're going to end up not needing the whole thing anyways, but I threw the tape in if I have time when I get done because Jay and I have Trevor River tonight too. I'm going to try to run over there and measure the distance of that. And then they'll just, they order us the length that we need. They cut it off the roll and then bring it because it comes in long stuff. So um, I'm working on getting a price on that. Uh, our handicap hunting blind is nearly done. The L&M shop class has been working on building that. We got the uh, steel ordered the other day. So we're just waiting for that to come in. And they've got to throw that on the on and then it'll be ready to be placed out at Chinkapin. 
Today, we're hoping to go out to Chinkapin and Burn and get the spot cleared off where it's going to go and then get it planted and stuff here in the weeks to come. So um, today will be our first burn. We're It's going to be maybe windy this afternoon. So we've got just some real small chunks over there that we're going to just make sure if we've got all our stuff together and everything works, <laughs> I guess, essentially. Um, the rush auction is coming up. It's uh, Sunday, April 2nd from 1 to 4 at Bob and Paul Buckman's there over by Morning Sun. So um, if anybody's interested in coming, I meant to bring some invitations, but I forgot them today. I didn't have them printed yet. Um, in terms of maintenance, they've been working on prepping a lot of the burn breaks. They're really enjoying the new building. They've got stuff moved in and, and everything. They're finding that with that drive, they want to keep the drive through the center open. And they're finding that a lot of the stuff, it's a little hard to fit it in there because everything has a tongue on it and attaches to something like the true axe or, you know, some of that stuff. And so they can't, it pokes out into the aisle too much if they try to just back it in, which would be the most efficient way to do it. And so they're figuring out and kind of a game of Tetris to figure out how they can fit <laughs> everything in on the sides and still be able to pull in because uh, they're really liking the fact that they can drive straight through that to pull in with equipment and stuff and leave it loaded and take back off the next day has been a really time saver for us. So um, in terms of environmental ed, um, we're of course going to be a person short. We hired Sarah Martinez, who was our intern this last year and summer rec intern the year before, and she's finishing up college. So she won't be back till May 15th. She did work for us a week here over spring break, and she's back at college now. So um, we should have a full staff on hand again here shortly. So um, just a reminder that uh, I feel bad because he sent out the stuff about for, with Paul Groves the other day for talking about hiring and such. And probation is in the dining room every Wednesday during the day. The sheriff's reserves are in the dining room the third Thursday in the evening, and conservation boards in the dining room, typically the first Monday in the late afternoon. And so we do have a calendar for that. So if anybody wants to schedule anything for there, sometimes it's easier to shoot me a text or a call quick, and it's really easy for anybody of our staff to look it up and see and um, let you know if anybody's going to be in there. So all that. questions, comments? We're all busy. This is supposed to be our slower time, but we're, we've been so busy. So <laughs> going, going. Oh, thank you. So all right. For the update. Thank Good you. luck, Bernie. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Cindy can come in early. I guess we're ready for her. I see her head on, I think. She's on the phone. I can maybe be in the exact same category as uh, any more talk on this or lobster. Has there been any more at Red Tomorrow. Um, I got an email yesterday afternoon. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, the attorneys are doing some verbiage. Everything looks to be good. Um, yeah. I reviewed it with Adam, and RN looks good with R2080 with the city, and then another one with the school. It's in the school's hands. All they have to do is approve it, sign it, and it should be good to go. I didn't know where it was at. Yeah. I didn't read on the show. Sure. Everything, so, there, there, was, there was a few little um, tweaking on the head lawyer talk, mm -hmm. you know, mostly. Mm -hmm. Shells and maze. Uh, it was more like um, <clears throat> the county will be in charge of the school between the hours of 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. till 3.30 and they, the city is not involved. And if the SRO officer is not there, then the city has to go back. So it was that kind of verbiage. Okay. But yeah, everything's good. Yeah. I think you'll probably see it on the next agenda. I'm guessing. <clears throat> well, okay. ready, Sammy. All right. 
For general assistance um, for foot traffic and phone traffic in February, there was 35 following and 14 foot. Um, for the food pantry, there were 21 households that utilized the food pantry in February. That was 44 individuals that were served. The mobile food pantry, we have lowered it to 150 households. We were doing 175. Um, and it seemed like we had some at the end that we were trying to find homes for. We never had a problem finding a home for it through programs around the county, but um, we lowered it to the 150 so that we wouldn't have that at the end. Um, the Food Pantry Coalition will meet March 29th yeah. from 1 to 2.30, and we're meeting at the l and um, Food Pantry there at their high school. Um, so we've been kind of rotating. We only meet twice a year, and we kind of have been rotating through the food pantries to, so everybody can kind of see what each food pantry looks like in the county. And then um, we're redoing the community services directory. So this is the directory we did and uh, released it in April of 2020. And um, the price tag on them then for a thousand of them was just under $1,500. So right now we're looking for funding to be able to hopefully send these to print again in April of 2023. So we'll have new ones out. Um, just finishing updates on them right now. Um, people are sending in updates and so getting that done and then I have um, asked for a quote from the printing company that did them last time and so she'll hopefully get it to me by the end of this week. I'll know exactly what we're working with because obviously three years will probably be an increase and so we'll see what that looks like and then we'll reach out to people to hopefully get it funded and printed so other than that that's kind of what perfect. Any questions? Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Oliver, if there's anything we can do to help you. All right. Thank you. Okay. With that, I entertain the machine. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Another thing with the alignment bill that went through, it looks like some of our middle hole help in judicial aid might be advisory boards instead of selling everything. That, that 